Hello, today I'm going to read a poem. So I'm Mandy and I'm going to read a poem today for the collective. The poem is called Desiderata. Now back in the 1960s and early 70s this poem was really really big okay and the, the meaning of Desiderata are, is it means things that are desired okay so the Theme of the poem, Desiderata, is the authentic lifestyle which involves loving oneself, being true to oneself, valuing one's employment, being dignified and self-assertive without being disrespectful to others. Now, this poem was printed out and framed for me by a friend of mine called Ruth who died of cancer. We met in hospital and we really clicked. We got on really well. And she didn't have anyone. She, her wife had died uh, previously and she was all alone. So I was there with her every day and we got to know each other really well. So she thought about me and she knew about this poem and she was older than me. And so back in the 60s, this was big. In the early 70s, this poem was really big and... You know, so she thought about me. She had it printed up and, and framed, put in a frame. So the other day when I was in the kitchen, I was looking at it and I thought, I should really read that out on my channel because now this is the kind of poem that people need to hear. And it's it's got it's a message in this poem. It's like a prayer in a way. So I'll start now. Here we go. Okay. So here. Desiderata. Go placidly among the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even the dull and ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter. For always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your career however humble it is. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially don't feign affection. Never be critical about love, for in the face of all aridity, aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly to counsel of the years, go gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore be at peace with God. Whatever you conceive him or her to be. And whatever your labour and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul.
with all its sham, druggery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be careful and strive to be happy. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? There, that's desiderata. Yeah. Desiderata. Amen. Until next time. Bye-bye. Give me a thumbs up.